Hi, I'm Matthew Rodriguez. And I'm Lindsay Miller. And today we're taking a look back at Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart's year as a couple, from breakup to makeup. Keep them guessing, I always say. <laughs> Kristen and Rob started off 2012 with a great year and the relationship was going well. That's true, you know, they were together at Coachella in April, that's a favorite destination of yes. theirs. <laughs> um, they were spotted kissing in Cannes in May while he was there promoting Cosmopolis. And then they were at Comic-Con together in July doing press for Breaking Dawn Part 2. And then in June, Snow White and the Huntsman was released. That's right. Kristen spent much of 2011 filming the movie, and while they were shooting it in London, she and Rob were actually living there together. But trouble arose in late July when photos surfaced of Kristen kissing Rupert Sanders, the married director of Snow White and the Huntsman. That's true, and Kristen moved really quickly to issue an apology, publicly confessing to cheating and really asking for Rob's forgiveness. And a day after that, Rob moved out of the house that he shared with Kristen. Yeah, he reportedly even spent some time post-breakup at his Water for Elephants co-star Reese Witherspoon's home in California wine country in Ojai. You know, those reports weren't quite substantiated, but there was a lot of talk that he was kind of hiding out there. And really, they both kind of just kept the low profile from the end of July into the beginning of August. Yeah, they kind of weathered the storm privately, um, and they kind of seemed to go their separate ways during that time, but of course they were both busy working as well. Rob had Cosmopolis and Kristen had On the Road, so it was in mid-August that Rob made his first red carpet public appearance at the Cosmopolis premiere. And while promoting that film, he sat down with Jon Stewart and joked about the fact that he was just <laughs> eating too much ice cream. He did, yes. <laughs> I was all set up, ready oh, to go. Yeah. Here you go. Let's just do this. Oh. <laughs> See, now it's meaningless. No, no. <laughs> right. I was gonna. I was gonna say. <laughs> this is the now, thing. This is just. We're just a couple of gals talking. All right. <laughs> You know, despite everything that was happening, Rob really kept a sense of humor, and he actually joked on Jimmy Kimmel about being homeless during his appearance, so. <laughs> the last time you were here, I think you were homeless, right? <laughs> still am. Uh, you still are, wow. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Do you just live in hotels? You, I mean, you don't have a place? No, I, I rented this archway. In, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I just lived behind it. In like the, a troll, that's yeah, nice. And in, in the, in the, in the one of those big trash cans. Meanwhile, we saw Kristen step out in LA in August, and we actually have the exclusive first pictures of her. She was still wearing a ring that she allegedly got from Rob, and fans were really excited by this because they took it as a sign that they were probably still together. It was definitely a good sign Absolutely. that everyone was looking for. <laughs> yes, and then she headed to the Toronto Film Festival in September to promote On the Road, and she was spotted wearing one of Rob's t-shirts while doing that. And that marked Kristen's first red carpet appearance since the whole scandal even broke and sparked rumors that maybe the couple was on again. And then by October, it seems that they were in fact really back on. Yeah, the rumors kind of started to heat up in September, but by October we saw them around LA looking pretty close together. They went to Adam Levine and Maroon 5's Halloween party together in masks. And then she reportedly even bought a house just a few minutes away from his but she's always really just keeping us guessing. <laughs> and in early November, on an appearance for the Today Show, Kristen said she would keep people guessing about their relationship right. status. Are you back together with Robert Pattinson? Funny you mention that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just gonna let people watch whatever little movie they would like to think our lives are and go for it, you know. Keep them guessing, I always <laughs> say. But all signs lead to Kristen and Rob as a couple. I think that they do, and they've of course spent the rest of the fall together on a whirlwind press tour for Breaking Dawn Part 2, including stops in Berlin, Madrid, the UK, here in LA. But afterwards, the couple took a much needed break in the UK together in late November. And the question that everyone is asking, where will the couple go from here? Well, I think only 2013 will tell. That is true. And thanks for watching, and keep checking back to Pop Sugar Rush for your Rob and Kristen fix.